All right, so welcome back, everybody. Playing some more Brotato, and today we are playing as the Wildling. So this guy gets plus 30% lifesteal with primitive weapons, starts with a stick, and can't equip weapons above tier 2. So I've had a few attempts with this guy now, and all of the runs have been all right. They've all died to, <laughs> died to like, the last elite. Uh, but yeah, my strat so far has been taking... Uh, I can't remember the name. Slingshot, because I think that's the only primitive range weapon. And it's also kind of good because it's high damage and it does have a bounce, so you can sort of insta hit another thing, no matter where it is. So I'm a fan. I don't know whether I should be trying to pivot to something else. Um, I'm gonna go for luck over harvesting, I think. And yeah, I'm going to get rid of you because I want to find as many slingshots as I can, and I think if I have a stick, I'm less likely to see that. There we go. And you know what? I'll freeze a weird ghost. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's fine. I doubt I'm going to take damage. If I'm not, like, if I'm playing poorly, then sure, but, yeah. Okay. That's nice. Okay, please, just get me tons of money. I need to find, like, tree upgrades and stuff as well. I'm still not sure what the strat is with this guy. Because I've been, I don't know, I've mostly been trying this. And honestly, it hasn't been insane. And yeah, I'll take baby elephants. Not sure if I'm gonna try and force that to work, but it seems fine. Um, gentle aliens are maybe. I'll freeze it, but don't buy it right now. Another slingshot, great. Hopefully I can buy both of these next turn. And uh, yeah, just make sure we don't get <laughs> hit by anything at the start here. Oh, I'll pick that up. A tree. Nice. I wanted an item, but that's still nice. around. I need to be... I need to make sure I'm always hitting something. Because as long as I'm hitting something, then the shots will bounce and hit something else if they exist anyway. And there we go. That's enough to, to buy some stuff. Um, I don't think I'm going to go for a dodge build, but it depends what I stick with. Because primitive weapons have an HP bonus, so it'd probably make more sense to go for a tanky build than just a dodge build. I'm going to take the luck because it could just help me out a ton more. I'm going to leave survivability for now. Um, I'm going to buy the turret. <laughs> I'm just going to buy that. Alright, it's going to help me kill things. I doubt I'm going to try and make it any better, but... Oh, although I one-shot things and it does not. Yeah, it's not doing as much damage as I thought. Maybe that wasn't the best play, but it was 20, 20 materials. It's barely anything. Like, I'd, wait, I'd easily waste that much, like, just rolling every turn. Okay. Plus, it's cool to have. Makes me feel a bit safer. I can hang around him and it increases my DPS just a little bit. <laughs> Closer to having a safe zone, you know? Okay. Dodge and harvesting. I don't know if it's worth the range down. I'm gonna recycle that. And take range damage here. I did want the luck upgrade, but yeah, we'll ignore that. The gentle alien. I genuinely think this is not a good idea. But I will continue to buy it because I have no self-control. Um, yeah, let's ignore that. Both of those things in the middle could have been fine, but I don't think they'd be incredible right away, and they were both pretty expensive. Ow. Why do I play chicken with the enemies? <laughs> I keep thinking I can kill it so I can just keep walking towards it, and then it doesn't happen, and I get hit for no reason. Alright. Do some work, turret. Oh, can the turret get that tree? No, it's not in range. Shame. I'll have to run over there then. Present, cool. Okay, got the tree up here as well. And we're earning pretty good money. It's a decent turn. We're not going to get to 200, but it's still pretty good. Okay, attack speed, huge. I am not taking engineering. <laughs> Take a mild luck up. I'm still not taking engineering. I'll take attack speed again. Um, recycling machine can be very good, so we'll grab that. Another slingshot is great. I'm going to leave you, and I will roll one more time. Um, armor and dodge at the cost of max HP. Okay, so that is good. I'm going to leave it for now, because survivability doesn't mean anything until, like, I don't know, turn 12. <laughs> like, I am more than happy to just focus on being able to kill things, because the faster I can kill things, the more money I can earn. And, uh, yeah, there's really... Unless you're playing very poorly, then chances are you're not going to die to anything in the first, you know, half of the game. It's only when uh, 
scary waves start showing up, you know, hordes, elites, or just some of the later game waves, you know, there, there's definitely scary stuff out there, but it's all towards the back end. It's not that hard to dodge, and it's not that hard to be strong enough to kill everything in the early game. So yeah, we'll just keep going for that, earn as much as possible. Hopefully get some good things out of these trees, yep. Anything good? Maybe with a bit. One bullet firing, five damage is fired from an enemy corpse when they die. You know what? I'm going to try that, just because it is rare, but it is um, <laughs> a bit rough. Take this. We're going to need that if we want Baby with a Beard to do much for us, and I need to try and fix my range at some point. Uh, I'm taking a glass cannon. I am all about trying to kill everything. I don't think you do too much, because I still have pretty mild luck. And I don't think it's worth buying Black Belt when I'm in this situation. Mutation might be, but we have 30 luck. I think I can wait and see if I can find any rarer things. Because there are definitely better range range upgrades. There's a lot at um, the Uncommon tier, Blue tier. It's like Scope, um, Small Magazine. I don't know, those ones come to mind anyway. <laughs> Alright, just keep hitting things. I'm feeling a lot better this wave. And the next wave... No, the turn after next is the, um, the big money wave too. I would love to see a metal detector before I get there, because that can just... It can, like, pay itself off in one wave that way. <laughs> it's very unlikely, but, you know, it's great money, especially if you can find it early. And yeah, I'm actually getting decent tree luck as well. I'm not finding many items from them, but, you know, trees are still lovely to see. Okay. Um, I'm going to go attack speed here. I think that is... Very important. Still leaving baby elephant. Improved tools. There's also another slingshot. So I only have one turret at the moment, but it may be worth buying just for the attack speed up, because if I'm keeping these weapons, it's going to be very low rate of fire. Yeah, I'm going to buy both of these. I have to combine. I couldn't have um, just bought that straight, because I can't can't stack. And I will roll one time. Um, I'm actually going to leave alien baby. I had a run earlier that died because I took three alien babies. I had, like, below average speed and took three alien babies, and then I just couldn't outrun most of the stuff. So despite being very survivable, I was getting hit, like, non-stop, because I couldn't actually kill everything. And, uh, yeah, it was not worth it. I'm just going to try and not get hit, and slower enemies definitely helps. <laughs> if I was going for a super tanky build, then, yeah, I'd definitely be down for that. But, yeah, I'm probably going to be a bit of a glass cannon, so I'd rather make it easier for me to dodge things. Hey, it's dead. Cool. Let's get that tree next. Okay, so we have one item. Would love to find some more. I also really want tree upgrades. They're genuinely one of my favorite things to find in this. I don't know. It scratches the same itch as Taurus. It's just nice having stuff showing up on screen that isn't, you know, an enemy. <laughs> it's more goals, you know? Something to run towards. Um, more healing from consumables and less dodge. I'm probably not going for a dodge build, so I will take that. And I may just buy the luck here. More damage is fine, but I'm already at a decent damage percentage. And yeah, I don't want any of this. I could also try and fix my range, but yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm just fine. I'm not taking engineering. Roll once more. Speed. Yeah, take speed. Alright, another slingshot. I can actually get these nearly all to blue. Another one. Okay, recycle. Buy it. Um, I'm not taking the incendiary turrets, so we're just, we're leaving that. Roll one more time. Um, acid, I think, will be worth taking. I'll buy a coupon right now. I think I'm going to leave Weird Ghost. Or maybe not. I could probably kill everything, so I think this is pretty safe, actually. So yeah, buy those. I'm on 1 HP, but we do have a lot of lifesteal, so it should probably start trickling in pretty quickly, because there's going to be a lot of enemies. Yeah. There we go. No worries. And I am doing a ton of damage. Nah, this is gonna be nice. It's gonna be a good wave. <laughs> I wonder how much I'm going to get though. Could I make it over like 600? Probably not, but it would be very nice if I could. And I would definitely like to get more range ups because I am noticing that I have to be very close to something to actually hit it. Which, you know, isn't that hard because I am constantly near things, but yeah, if I could just be in the middle and hitting everything on screen, then that'd be great. Alright, 
think that tree in the bottom left already broke, so I don't need to worry about running down there yet. Okay, try and collect some of these materials on the right. And there we go. We made it to like 500. That's not bad. Don't care about more lifesteal. I could maybe try some harvesting, but I really doubt I'm going to go for any sort of harvesting upgrade. I think I'm just going to take the speed. Could be good. More range damage is great. Um, bag probably will pay itself off, so I actually am going to grab that. Um, a little damage up. It's pretty mild, but I don't really care about the engineering down. Like, I'm not going to be using my turrets. <laughs> it's like barely doing anything anyway. So yeah, roll again. Can't buy slingshots. I also don't think missiles worth it because attack speed is much more valuable than raw damage. I am pretty tempted to take sunglasses. <laughs> Hold on. So you see an elite next wave. I'm just going to buy all these. Yeah, buy that stuff. Let's leave. So I am incredibly fragile. I'm going to be a glass cannon. But that's fine. <laughs> I'm all about that as long as I can actually kill things. Any issue is, these aren't the best weapons for killing um, single, very tanky guys. So I either need to find a new weapon to add to the squads, or, I don't know, just run away from elites and bosses and stuff. I don't know, as long as I can kill all the small things, then dodging elites and bosses is actually pretty easy. The only issue is, half the time, you can't dodge the bosses because there's so many other random things around, and you can't, like, choose what you're aiming at. So if you lock onto the boss, at least with this, my projectiles bounce around so they're likely to hit smaller things as well. But yeah, in a lot of other builds, I'll be so close to the boss that I'm targeting that, and then I'm getting like closed in on from behind by all the random small junk. Nice. That's a pretty good wave. More attack speed. Life steal down means nothing. I also get my range back, or at least a little bit. We have no burning, and that's pretty good money. Um, yeah, leave that. Yeah, I'm just gonna buy the range up. We can actually fix it now, so uh, take that. I think a piggy bank's okay. Can't use any more slingshots. And I wish. I'm going to buy the banner right now, but then I'm just going to leave and let the piggy bank get some value. <laughs> this is just sad. Okay. Let's go. Elite time. You're not an elite. Where is it? There he is. Um, I just want to gauge how much damage I'm doing, because maybe I can try and deal with him. Uh, maybe. It depends how many other things show up. I think I do have enough DPS to burst him down if I did do nothing but hit him. But, you know, obviously the wave is going to get harder over time. Plus, I am getting hit a lot. Yeah, I think I can kill him. Ow. <laughs> Famous last words. Hold on. Uh, everything else is so tanky. The rib guys as well. Okay, we max HP again. Hmm, there's 10 seconds left. I don't know. I'll try. Play a little more riskily. Just hang next to him. Nah. Nah. No dead elite. Shame. Okay, so crit chance is a maybe. Dodge I'm definitely not going for. I think I'm just going to take it, otherwise it's going to get very expensive to look for other things. Um, I don't like that. Sad Tomato actually is a maybe, because I don't mind starting low, and 8 eight regen is pretty solid. So yeah, I think I buy both of these. And I'm going to roll a little bit. With a baby with a bit. Do I go back into terrible range? I'm assuming these do stack. So would this be like one bullet dealing double damage, or would it be a second bullet? I wish I could have a damage stat on these. Oh, yeah, yeah, there she is, yeah, during the last wave, though, so... This hasn't been incredible, considering how long I've had it. But at the same time... <laughs> I'm gonna take it. Right, I don't want the luck down. Yeah, I just don't want the luck down, I'm ignoring that. Roll once more. Uh, no. No, I may freeze metal plates, but I don't want to have to take track of it, right? No, we're early enough. I'm going to grab that. I think it's worth buying now instead of, you know, waiting or something. I wanted to leave more money for my, um, my piggy bank. But, yeah, we're already pretty low. It probably doesn't make a difference. And I love how many random shots are just pinging around everywhere. It's, like, all so low as well. Like, they're only doing 12 damage. I think. 
25 maybe? I can't tell. That's probably me. But either way, it's funny to look at. And come back here, you. There we go. Yeah, I will need to find another range upgrade, because I want to be firing non-stop. It's the only way this build is going to be, like, actually getting great value. Because I can basically hit things from anywhere because of the bouncing. So I just need to make sure that I actually am targeting things all the time, so I'm, you know, actually shooting non-stop and <laughs> constantly hitting things. Okay. Well, this seemed like a very easy wave. I think I may have a rough one coming up next, though, because I think there's a, a horde wave soon. Um, more attack speed and range damage. Absolutely massive. I'm going to take the luck up. I will buy the armor, because I've been negative armor for a very long time, and I'd like to try and <laughs> push that up a little bit. Um, I don't think... Ah, uh, that's probably what it is. 40 gold. Can't buy any more slingshots. I don't like you. I also don't really like this, but I should probably take it. More damage against uh, bosses and elites. This is only going to affect this one elite and then the final boss. And I really doubt I'm going to be able to kill them. If this was also an elite, I'd go for it, but I don't think that's worth it. So yeah, I'm going to ignore it. Um... Like, crown, maybe? <laughs> I think it's too late for crown, right? I know it's like compounding, so I'd get like, you know, 8 next turn, and then 16, and then whatever, but it's... I don't know how that's going to keep up with inflation. I'll roll one more time. I think you're worth something. I don't like any of the rest. And yeah, we're still fine for now. But next wave is the Horde wave. I'm hoping I'm going to be fine. I feel like I'm going to be fine, because I am killing all the small stuff very quickly. But yeah, Horde Waves are always a different beast, so... I didn't know how many more enemies they spawn. Like, I don't think it's just double. I swear it is like 2.5 or 3 times. It feels a lot more... <laughs> crushing. Okay. Now we're pretty strong, though. Ow. I got hit like twice in a row and it almost one-shot me. I need to stop talking. <laughs> I need to stop bragging about how good my run is, because it is, like, one bad dodge away from death. Okay. More money, please. Any any items? We'd love to get some free items. Tree? No. Okay. Okay, that still wasn't bad. Uh, fix my range. I'm not doing any dodge yet. Fix my range. Okay, so we have that. I'll get a bit more HP. I know I have terrible armor, so it's, you know, I don't know how good more HP is. But, you know. <laughs> more range damage? I'll buy it. Gonna leave head injury, I think. Um, I'm gonna buy you. You're fine. I don't like this. I'll buy another one of those. I'm gonna roll one more time. I know I'm, like, wasting my piggy bank, but it's, it's just meh. And I feel like Bowler Hat is also a bit late. This is not bad. And you know what? We're going into a horde wave. I'm going to buy that now. That actually may help me. Okay, so let's see how bad this is. I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to pick up all the materials. Like, right at the start, sure. But what tends to happen in horde waves is you're either going to be just shredding everything because you're so overpowered. Or you kind of get wedged into a corner where you're always on the back foot trying to dodge. And all the, <laughs> all the money just sort of stacks up in a pile in the middle that you can't reach. I don't know, I am killing a lot. No, this feels great. Yeah, this may be a big money wave. They are definitely closing in, but... It's not, like, unbearable. Yeah. Another level. Sorry, a tree popped down there somewhere. Okay, let's try and... I don't know, I do want to play in the middle, and that's what I'm doing. But I'm worried I'm going to end up getting, like... Stuck in the middle and not have a way out. It doesn't look like that is the case. Just let me pick up more of this. More HP. HP doesn't help, though. Let me take the luck up. Just show me rare stuff. Oh, <laughs> a ton of regen. Oh, fine. I'm taking it. Let's just grab that. I'm not going to touch wisdom, I think. Unless... I still can't tell how good this is. Because I know, I know some of the waves are a lot longer than others. For example, they'd be very good on the boss fights, but... Oh, it's probably fine. All right, grab that. Still not touching crown. Um, 
Actually, both of these could be really good. I'm kind of sad I didn't find blood donation a lot earlier. But uh, yeah, I will take I will take magic leap. I think it's too late to keep investing in luck like that. And yeah, blood donation is probably fastest prime, so I'll leave that. But yeah, if you have a lifesteal build, I think blood donation is actually just really safe. Because you're going to be, assuming you have a ranged damage um, lifesteal build, then you're going to be, you have potential to be healing a little all the time. And that's exactly what you'd want for blood donation, so. Yeah, I think that pairs very well. This is sad that I found it in the final quarter of the game. It might have paid off for itself, but I don't think it's worth the HP drain. Because if I do end up losing a lot of HP, you know, getting hit by an actual thing in the fights, then uh, I kind of don't want to <laughs> sap my healing more than I need. It's not necessary. And I'm seeing presents everywhere. There's like three of them? Yeah. Okay, this is a great run. I really do want to find more armor, though. Because the elites... I don't know, it just depends if I'm trying to kill the elites or not. Because I can probably still run away from it pretty safely. More melee? No. No. Maybe? I'll try that. More crit? I think I'm fine with that as well. Take that. I really don't care about the lifesteal. Uh, not planning to stand still. I tried a bandana earlier, and I couldn't tell if it did anything. So I think I'm just going to leave that. I don't know, because I feel like it should work, right? Like, I don't see why it wouldn't. But if it just doesn't do anything at all, because we have Bounce, and I don't know how Bounce interacts with Pierce. I'm taking it, I don't know. <laughs> I trust that it doesn't just do nothing. Wings is insane, and I will buy it right away. And I guess I'll save the rest of my money. I'm not really using Piggy Bank, but it's still, like... It's still doing a little. And yeah, no, this is great. I'm <laughs> feeling very strong. Okay. I just wish I had Sif's Relic. Because then I wouldn't have to worry about collecting everything myself. And I could just always just run at the big groups of enemies and just hang out. Let everything fly to me. Oh yeah, that's lovely. <laughs> Yeah, still, still have no idea if the piercing's working or not. It's definitely, there's too much going on at the moment for me to be able to tell anyway, but... Yeah. I'm sure one of you lovely people will tell me if it does nothing. Yeah, I need armor. Dodge isn't going to happen, but I need to have at least a little bit of positive armor. I do not want to be sitting on minus one armor when I go into, like, actual bad fights. Am I standing still less speed? That's not what I meant. Okay, armor! Yay! Okay, we'll just take that. Uh, blood donation again. Don't think so. Um, I do have a lot of range. I could maybe afford this. Yeah, let's take that. I think you're fine as well. I don't really want Hedgehog. It's kind of expensive and I don't love it. Triangle of Power is a maybe. <laughs> I think it's a bit late for another Gentle Alien. Yeah, I'm going to take that. I think I can survive not getting hit. And I'm going to roll a bit more. Bean Teacher, way too late. Um, buy Acid now. I'm going to freeze you and I will buy it next turn, but yeah, not yet. Yeah, Bean Teacher, I don't care about the downgrade. Like, losing 2% lifesteal means literally nothing to me. But, I don't know. It just doesn't feel right having to buy Bean Teacher on, like, wave 18 or something way too late. Like, every now and then I get really lucky and find a, a bean teacher, like, before turn 8 or something, and it's like, whoa, we're gonna get great value, and then, yeah. Like, that's great. I do not want it at this stage, though. I need to remember to not get hit. Normally, I don't mind getting chip damage, so I do play a little more riskily than, you know, necessary, but if I have triangle of power, I need to make sure I'm not taking damage, because it does lower my own and the only thing keeping this run alive is my high damage, so... <laughs> it's not like I have enough survivability to just run away. I need to kill things before they can cause a problem. Yeah, I'm taking a bit of damage now, but that's fine. I just want to collect stuff. Mm-hmm. Alright, uh, no, I'm just going to sell you. And I'm going to take more crit chance. Okay, I will buy this. Still can't buy any more of those. Uh, no. 
<laughs> still too late. I still don't like missile either. I think helmet's fine. And I'm not going to roll again because it is getting very expensive. And yeah, I still don't know about pumpkin. If it works for bounces as well, then amazing. But I doubt it. Oh, and you're the summoner guy. Wait. Uh, there are a lot of things around. Okay. So I've stopped all the little nubs from growing. So now he's in a different stage. And I don't need to worry about that. So I don't know. Can I kill him? I feel like I'm going to get hit too much if I hang near him, because I really don't like the <laughs> the orbs. If there's no other things around, that's not a problem, but yeah. That's the problem with elites. They always have loads of minions closing in on you at the same time. Uh, never mind, though. This thing seems pretty, pretty doable. Come on, please. I need to see a cool legendary. End him. End him. It's so close. There's another present guy as well. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Nice. Just before the end, we got it. Okay, range damage, yes. Five range damage, 10% damage, 10% range. I don't love the attack speed down, but... Oh, huge yes. <laughs> that is lovely. All right. Um, We leave. I know I don't need harvesting, but I don't need that either. Alien eyes and coffee are both pretty cool, so I'll grab those. Tracked a bit late, my guy. <laughs> Class cannon? Yes. <laughs> Just yes. Yo! Oh, I wish I could have taken Metal Detector earlier. I can't remember if I already have one. No. Yeah. It would have been nice, but yeah, I'm gonna grab this, because, like, the six armor is huge, and I'm just gonna buy it now. Can't be bothered with, um, the rest of that. Maybe Elephant has also been doing a ton of work, and I didn't realize... I'm not going to bother, but yeah, I do love luck builds. I like a lot of the luck synergy stuff. Baby Elephant and Cyber Ball are both really cool. Anyway, this is the last wave to actually earn money, so I'm going to try and pick up as much as I can. Anything I leave on the ground, I don't think I'm going to be able to ever spend in a shop. So at the very least, let's make sure we're picking up all these, well, you know, the bulk of these times twos. I do wish I'd found Sis Relic at some point, though. Like, I don't know, if I had managed to kill an early Elite and got it there, that probably would have been ideal. Uh, yeah, no, this is great. Very high damage. Now. Now we're slightly less high damage. <laughs> I just love how spammy it is. The two babies with the beards is just... <laughs> just combining with my already double bouncing shots. And it's just, there's stuff flying around everywhere. There we go. Alright, we don't care about lifesteal. I think I take this for the 54, because this is all just eh. A uh, bit more HP. I may grab that. I think it's better than leaving it. And yeah, I'm going to take range damage over HP here. Oh, bad, Tana. I don't know if it works, but I'm taking it again. Alright. None of this. Uh, attack speed, crit chance, and range. All pretty good. Honestly, a rocket launcher would also be good, but I'm going to try and <laughs> stay where I am. No, we're not taking a peacock. Could maybe survive baits? Yeah, I'll try baits. Leave. Oh, another... Oh, wait, that's a jetpack. I thought it was the other thing. <laughs> Still, speed and dodge. Um, The dodge does nothing, but 15% speed is very nice. The armor down kind of sucks, but I don't think I'm going to get better, so I'm just going to buy those and then leave. Not buying silver bullets, because... I'm not going to try too hard to kill these. And there's the bait enemies. They are already dead. <laughs> I don't think they even got a chance to shoot. Okay, so I'm going to try, I guess. Like, all the other enemies aren't getting close enough to do anything. I do wish I had higher range, though, because I do need to stay pretty close to these to hit them. You're basically dead already. Just accept it. <laughs> um, I'm probably going to stay near this one and just ignore the one that's bouncing around like a Windows screensaver. Oh, I mean, they're hanging next to each other now. No, I took damage. No, it's all crumbling. My dream. <laughs> okay, well, at least don't die. Hold on. I'm just going to run around for a second. 
There you go. One of them's dead. Got my full heal. Finish this guy off and let it end. There it is. We did it. We got a wildling victory. Okay, that was actually a very good run. Yeah, I found tons of cool stuff. Like, double glass cannon, baby with a beard. Uh, I actually found a fair number of legendary stuff as well. Like, make it, roll time, heavy bullets, jetpack, and grinds magical leaf. I'm not sure how much work that really did, because I wasn't taking damage for a lot of the run, but... Yeah, that was great. Alright, solid run. Ticked another Danger 5 character off. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.